Hi everyone, welcome back to Dog Days of Summer Collaboration with Wonder and Dreamer 555. I hope that you all are doing great today and that you are getting to your hump because it is hump day and you are ready to go ahead and cast, float on over the hump and start your weekend off right. Today we're going to be um, putting the dressings on an impossible card. I have started to, I did a video and I was 23 minutes in, I was just like, this is too long. Um... Because I didn't want it to be an instructional video, even though that's what it had turned into. So here we are. Impossible card. Um, already cut it out. Here's the template I've used. I will, If you want me to, leave a comment and I can do a step-by-step-by-step-by-step-by-step. Impossible card. This is the card that I will be teaching for my class. And so you'll see me do a lot, I guess a lot of dressing. More so than um, actually creating them um so we're going to dress this card up and hopefully it doesn't take 23 minutes that would kind of suck um for me and you as well <laughs> i hope you all are doing great i am doing okay i can't truly complain and i'm making this card normal size four and a half or four and a quarter by five and a half because the lady asked me can i make can you make a card that can fit in the envelope i'm like yes of course who i mean come on of course you can. All right, so that's what we're doing today. And these are all like little cutouts. This is an artsy, I think it's an artsy little kit that I picked up from Tuesday morning. A lot of people have been hauling them and um, they are great to kind of have. So I am just going to pull out a few of these things like this pine half or aloha looks great. You can have this... Um, Flamingo. I know a lot of people are in flam into flamingos. I can't say that I'm into flamingos and I can't say that I'm not into flamingos. I hope that makes some type of sense. Because thinking about it, it probably didn't. Okay, another day in paradise. We're going to pull this apart. I think these are a little acetate. Because I don't think they're stickers. They're really thin. Um, which is great. I love little kits like this because, you know, you can create so much with these little kits that's not... Um, like what it's intended for because I think on here it's supposed to make like a little no I don't even say so yeah that's great I'm going to clip this little piece off right there and I think that looks great what do you think because you can see it really well it's not, is it too busy is it too busy let's see or should we do this I think we'll do that let me get some more paper to cut okay so I want to say the reason why I didn't keep this is because I want, you know, another day in to be visible versus it not being visible. So that's why I'm going to use this. I'm just going to glue. How do you apply your acetate? Um, like, do you glue it on? Do you tape it? I don't really work with acetate that often, but the times that I have, I just kind of glued it on with some glue. And I'm trying to find, you know, use some glue that's going to dry clear. You definitely don't want a big glue popping through your creation, right? How's your week going? My week is going okay. I can't really complain too much, I guess. I'm just going to slide smooth this over a little bit um, and I think that looks great and we can always like zhuzh this up by putting something else on there I'm trying to make this card super flat as well only because I am going to show her that you can't put this in the lady um, that I'm at the shop where I'm doing a class at I'm going to show her that you can actually put this in the mail and it will fit in a regular size card envelope so that is the whole purpose in making it kind of flat <laughs> as flat as possible i guess you could say did i put too much no did not put too much tape on there and i'm just applying this right there um I'm I'm really sad that all of my collaborate the collaborations that I'm participating in are over almost. 
like I have a few more days of dog days which is so great that I'm glad that we did it Monday Wednesday and Friday gives me something to do I haven't been in my studio that much I've been dilly dallying around the house doing other things and um, it's kind of cool to get in the studio and create 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 I'm going to use this as well, this little flamingo, and I will be popping this one up, though. Because you can do a little dimension, right? Just a little. I cut that little string off. Because I think these are supposed to be like tags. Yep, they're tags. Um, and I need to just make sure that how I put this person, this little flamingo, it um, can fit properly in the am i going to chop his legs off i hope not let's go with the smaller one let's see how that's going to look i struggle with this part so you'll probably see me doing a lot of videos on embellishing stuff let me see let me see all right so you know i was looking at this and i really don't need to embellish it that much but because I feel like I want to embellish some things on here and make it stick out because the person will have to write on this side their little note or they could write the bottom but that's kind of weird I think this card kind of card looks great if you have double-sided paper I would just say if you use double-sided paper it should be kind of thick um, because you really don't want flimsy paper and so we're gonna put tropical dreams right there tell me that is not um something that you want to dream of um a couple of days ago monday was it monday i think it was monday we were on a heat advisory it was 100 106 degrees here and i know other people live in places that it gets hot but i was just like goodness like that is hot and my son always wants to go outside and play. I think maybe we should do that right there. We're going to have to bend the little legs a little bit. A little bit, huh? I bent them all the way. Because I want to put this aloha. I want to put this together just like that. You'll see in a few seconds. Because you probably saying, Brandon, I can't see your big old hand in the way. I know. I know. I'm going to fix that, though. Um, have you did any shopping lately? I have not been doing much craft shopping. I have been doing a lot of rediscovery in my boxes and um, unboxing things. Even the things that I already had here before, like I had a whole bunch of stamps. Because I think I've told you all before that I purchased a lot of stamps before I knew how to use the stamps. And I really was nervous that I wasn't going to be able to get into it. Because, you know, some people don't like stamping. And I'm so glad that I got over my fear of thinking that I was not going to be able to be a good stamper. I think I'm an okay stamper. And I like the versatility of stamping. Um, I know people like digital stamps. And I think those are cute, too. Um, I just don't want to have to print them. I think my whole issue is printing them off and doing all that excess stuff with them. Yeah. but you know I do like digital stamps but I love stamping like regular stamping it just brings me joy <laughs> aloha see what do you think they look okay I hope you think so because I love it I love it so far it's so cute we're gonna and like I said we're gonna embellish the heck out of this it's gonna be so like crazy um looking you're gonna be like wow Yep, wow is the right word. Let's see. Endless summer. I know some people wish they had an endless summer. I don't know if I could deal with this heat year round. Um, even in tropical places, it cools off a little bit, right? Just a smidgen. Um, let's see. And again, I'm trying to make sure that we stay inside the, our coloring lines because we are... I'll put this in the envelope at the end of the video. All right, I think we are done with this card because I don't want to get too crazy. Um, 
Yep, I don't want to get too crazy, but I feel like I'm missing something right there. So let me just dig in my collection of stuff that I pulled out for this that we didn't even use because I went a different direction and see what I can find. I'm going to use Take Me to the Beach. And let's do it right, right there. And I think I'm going to put a little sea creature as well there. Um, I think that will look cute. Let's see. Let me find a little sea creature. Okay, so no sea creature. I am trying to keep, well, I want it to be tropical, fruity, beachy, or whatever. So I'm going to be using... Um, a sticker that was gifted to me from Nick's Crafty Corner. And I think, oh no, did I do it wrong? Yeah, I pulled it off the wrong way. I think this little fruity drink will work great. I always tell you all about fruity drinks, right? <laughs> this person is running out of room to write. You know, it could just be missing you. I miss you. I love you. And that's why I like to decorate these um, up because you really an impossible card kind of speaks for itself of course you can write something like hey I miss you love you or whatever but I think that they really really do and they speak for themselves and that's why I want to kind of I want to go crazy but not too crazy I want to keep it nice and fun but not too simple um, I am using two different two or three different types of paper collections from different companies which is a-okay with me and see, I don't know if these being these small would fit, but I think I should put this little yellow piece right there. And I don't have my little circle pop dots over here. Do I? Nope, I don't. I had took them out, but I think I put them back because I was like, you already have, you already have some stuff over there. You don't need all of that. And here I am looking for them. So we're going to just plop. This little, what is this? Um, starfish on there. We'll call this card done. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please go over and check out what Wandering Dreamer 555 has created. I'm sure it's something fabulous. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday for the month of July. I hope that you've enjoyed this series so far. I really, really did. I totally enjoy crafting with other people and seeing all their creativity that i could try to figure out how i can incorporate into my own style so this is our completed card which i absolutely positively love and let's go ahead and pop it in the envelope and i'm gonna have to scoot by the shop today and let her see it so she can know that brandy can do more than just one size card <laughs> And that's why I want to make sure everything fit. Nothing like this little thing. Nothing was um, hanging over the sides because I want her to see that it can fit in the envelope. Yep. So, look at that. Again, too much dimension can mess it up. But, I hope you enjoyed this. I sure did. Until next time, which will be Friday for Dog Days of Collab. Dog Days of Summer Collaboration with Wonder and Dreamer 505. Happy crafting!